instead of having to specifically give the agent all those tasks ahead of time and tell exactly what to do, which is hard and complex, and you're not sure you can do it, but if instead you just say, this is the kind of thing I'm looking for, and here's a set of tools, even sub-agents to go do these things, then it's able to then go through and basically accomplish that. That's what we're talking about in this next generation of agents. I don't think people realize that there's actually a fundamental shift going on in the way that AI agents work. What's changed? So one of the really cool things about agents is that they are more complex and they do complex things. But this level of complexity is the thing that has changed in that the newest AI models are able to do more. And the techniques that we you actually use uh, to like prompt them in these in these new ways are actually... Um, evolving to a way that you can have these agents do these complex tasks. So this concept is not new at all. Like um, so, uh, like even years ago, um, there if you look, there's like these like baby AGI, um, auto GPT, and these were all built on the fundamental premise that if you have an AI uh, model and you ask it to like go and think about to do the task and figure out a way to do it, it'll it'll work. They just didn't work very well. It would be like... Why didn't they work very well? It sounds like... I, it, I mean, we've always talked about AI in the context of yeah. being like, AI is so smart, it can sure. do all of these but, things. Uh, imagine that you got somebody who was um, uh, smart, but like new, uh, didn't have a time experience, and, uh, and, and, and you said, do this hard, complex task. They, they might not know exactly what to do. They might come back with something that was like, I mean, they might get stuck. They might, they might not know what you wanted. They might not understand the nuances of what it means to do all these things. And that's kind of what AI happened with AI before, is the models kind of were not good enough to go through it all. One of the stark examples that you were giving, one, we give it a very simple question. It's almost like getting insights out of a document, like yeah. summarize this 20-page document versus, you know, moving forward where we're telling it how to do something. So create this report, make these columns, et cetera, et cetera. Now with these agents, if we're giving these, in, you know, in instructions with the way we're being built, isn't that more of the same? It's not that like um, having uh, the ability for agents to do very complex, interesting like uh, things is, um, of course, the only way to handle agents. Like sometimes you want an agent to do the 10 things that you want to the steps that associate with it. Right. So I, there's a natural evolution in the enterprise to want to have agents that go through and specifically follow a process. You don't have to yeah. think outside the box. Yeah. Just do what I ask you to do. But one of the key things now is that, that that's not all they can do. They can do that. And you can have custom agents that are specific to some enterprise task. But then also they can be more generic. And you could say, here's a set of capabilities, a set of tools. I want you to figure out how to do something that is complex. And then they can do that also. So we're starting to see that, that, need, that, that they, um, there, you have this like, not just uh, an employee that can, can go through and do these, these, these steps for you because you've taught them how and you've told them explicitly what to do, but instead they can have somebody who can help you as do uh, your job um, and, and, and do some work for you so that you're able to then uh, do even more. So if I'm thinking of leveraging now this new wave of autonomous agents, yeah. how would I go about figuring out like, are they are they on the right path? Are they doing the right thing? How do I test? Okay, so um, Mina, you're a product marketing manager. Yes. Okay. One of your responsibilities is to launch new products. Yeah. Okay. So um, uh, imagine if uh, I give you an agent, and I say, uh, and then this agent's here to help you to do complex things. Okay. Um, and so one thing it can do would be to say something like. Um, uh, here's a bunch of material that people made about a new product launch. So summarize a a, a nice um, uh, social media uh, post for it, right? Yeah, it yeah. could uh, probably come up with a good, you know, social media like LinkedIn caption. Or How something. long would you expect yeah. for it to take for that kind of stuff in your experiences? Oh my goodness, practically instant. Yeah, yeah. two seconds. Yeah, kind of like, okay, yeah. super useful, yeah. intelligent. Um, maybe not like the most agentic thing, but uh, we talked about it in the show, but like just certainly intelligent and helpful. Okay. Yeah. So that's an example of sort of the, the base of like what AI can do. Okay. Okay. Now imagine you had an AI agent that was also um, able to do um, something more complex. So mm -hmm. for instance, so you have a template that you typically fill out for maybe to teach salespeople and other people how to um, how to, uh, to to enable them on the new stuff. Yeah. Um, like uh, we, we might make some custom agents where you go through and you're like, uh, take this template uh, look at this source material, um, fill out these 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 forms, and then and then be able to then create uh, this uh, new document that has this kind of format and this template with this thing. Yeah. So today we can make agents, and you've seen these before, where they're able to go through and then and then follow those instructions specifically, yeah. and be able to then create those, right?
you know, part of those like steps that I would give this agent is to make sure that, you know, whatever you put in in this enablement aligns with our messaging positioning, yeah. brand, tone. So I would give it a lot of like the steps to follow. Yeah. Now, what would be something that you wouldn't actually think an agent could do for you now that you wouldn't even bother to ask, but would be really helpful for you? Mm, probably help me think of, you know, a very effective and connected launch strategy okay. for some of our upcoming AI products. So wh why wouldn't you think that an agent could do that today? Oh, it's very complex. There's multiple threads. So what would you do to, to answer this There's question? so many uh, work streams that, uh, you know, a product marketer would follow okay. um, in order to think of a, a launch strategy, right? Okay. So it's not just about knowing what the messaging positioning is, yeah. uh, but also to figure that out yeah. for any upcoming product. So yeah. part of that as an underlying dependency would be to understand the roadmap really yeah. well. Yeah. It would also be a search step. Like, I'd have to find the right yeah. roadmap in the first place. Like, those things evolve quite, you know, uh, quite rapidly. Um, and then, you know, once I felt like, okay, I have a reasonable handle on that step, uh, I would, uh, or a product marketer would then move to like, okay, now let me figure out the messaging positioning. Let me think about AI trends. Let me yeah. look at, you know, how things are being talked about. Let me look at customer feedback. Yeah. Let me look at uh, market insights. Yeah. analyst reports maybe. Uh, and then from there, I would think of as part of the launch strategy, even what the deliverables are, right? Um, where it's not just me coming up with a page that I might present to my marketing leadership and yeah. product leadership. It's also, what would I put on the web page? Yep. What would I put on internal materials like a deck? What would I put on, you know, yep. the blog or the press release? And so you, you kind of have inherently made this like to-do list of all these things to, to accomplish in order to do this thing. Oh, yeah, they would know exactly what it would entail. So now, yeah. imagine if you did ask an agent to do this, and, and it would be able to go do this by basically thinking about it for a while and then figuring out that in order to be good at this, in order to do this job very well, it would go through. And you have given it tools effectively to do that kind of research, to look up that information, to go examine those things. And you give it enough time so it's able to go and think about it and come up with, with, the, with the, the right answer. So this is exactly what you just said is an example of how instead of having to specifically give the agent all those tasks ahead yeah. of time and tell exactly what to do, which is hard and complex, and you're not sure you can do it, but if instead you just say, this is the kind of thing I'm looking for, and here's a set of tools, and even sub-agents to go do these things, then it's able to then go through and basically accomplish that. That's what we're talking about in this next generation of agents. Oh, wow. So where I just kind of give it the task, I don't even have to tell it the steps, it figures out the steps on its yeah. own. Exactly. That's amazing. Exactly. And so these are still AI agents and they still are doing complex things, but it's, it's, it's actually a fundamental evolution of what it can do in the enterprise for you and for just, and not just product marketing, of course, for all sorts of different things that com people and companies do. That's pretty amazing. I would have never thought that agents could handle that level of complex tasks. Yeah. Wow, Ben. So it's really exciting to think of a world where knowledge workers are managers of agents and can handle incredibly complex tasks where they can figure out the steps themselves. And this is the new world of AI agents that we will continue to explore in upcoming episodes. So hit that subscribe button so you don't miss another episode. We'll see you next time.